Hello there. In this video, we will understand how the photoelectric effect observations were contradictory from the classical wave theory approach of light. So, before that, let's understand what the photoelectric effect was. So, the photoelectric effect is the phenomenon in which the electrons are emitted from a material surface when a light of sufficiently high frequency falls on it. So, for an example, this is a metal surface and if you put an ultraviolet radiation of a sufficient high frequency, then the electrons from the surface will start emitting out. And this process is called the photoelectric effect. And these electrons are called the photoelectrons. Now, one key observation in the photoelectric effect was there is a minimum frequency of light needed to cause the emission. And this is what is called the threshold frequency. What this means that let's say the minimum frequency needed is 10 raised to the power 15 hertz. So if the incident light has a frequency of let's say 10 raised to the power 14 hertz, no matter how high the intensity of light is, the electrons will just not be emitted from this. So here is the equation of the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons. So it is equal to the energy of the incoming photon minus the work function because this much energy would be utilized in just ejecting the photoelectrons from the metal surface. And this phi, that is the FERC function, can be also written as H nu naught, where nu naught is the threshold frequency, the minimum frequency required to just eject the electron. So, now before we understand what the contradictions were with respect to the wave theory of light, let's also understand what was the classical wave theory of light. So, the classical wave theory says that energy is directly proportional to intensity. So, energy of light waves depends only on the amplitude, that is the intensity, not on the frequency. The time lag possible. So, the classical wave theory says for low intensities, so for very low intensities, the electrons might need some time to absorb enough energy before being ejected. And the third one is there is no threshold frequency. Any frequency of light should eventually cause the emission if the intensity is high enough. Now you might be able to see that these observations are contrary to what we saw in the photoelectric effect. But let's list down one by one. So the first problem is the threshold frequency problem. The photoelectric effect observation suggests that there is a minimum threshold frequency that is needed in order to eject the electrons. Below that, the electrons will not be ejected. But the wave theory predicted that any frequency of light should eventually cause the electron emission if the intensity is high enough because energy is spread out over the wave and electrons can gradually absorb it. But the experimental observation suggests that below a certain threshold frequency, no electrons are emitted regardless of the light's intensity or duration. So this is a clear contradiction that is the frequency, not the intensity determines whether the emission occurs or not. The second contradiction is the instantaneous emission versus the time lag. So in the photoelectric experiments, we saw that as soon as the light of a certain frequency falls on the metal instantaneously the electron emission starts but as per the wave theory the electron might take some time to absorb the energy but that will create a time lag so the wave theory prediction is for low intensity light electrons might require a measurable time delay to accumulate enough energy before escaping but the experimental observation suggests that the emission happens almost instantaneously within 10 raised to the power minus 9 seconds when the light above the threshold frequency strikes the surface. The contradiction here is that the electrons do not require a charging up time or there is no time delay during the photoelectric emission. So photoelectric effect suggests that the energy is delivered in single complete packets. Now the last contradiction is the kinetic energy depends on frequency not intensity. The wave theory predicted that higher intensity should result in higher energy of the emitted electrons. Frequency should only change the light's color not the electron energy. But as per the experimental observations we saw that increasing the intensity above the threshold frequency is increasing the number of emitted photoelectrons but the maximum kinetic energy is fixed by the light's frequency. So as we saw in that equation that the kinetic energy maximum is equal 
to h nu that is the energy of incoming photon minus the work function that is phi naught kinetic energy depends on the frequency of the incoming photoelectron not on the intensity of the incoming photoelectron so the contradiction here is bright low frequency light cannot eject electrons but faint high frequency light can so the final conclusion over here is that the wave theory of light predicts that the energy of emitted electron should depend upon the light intensity and that any frequency can cause the emission if the light is bright enough or shines for longer time but in reality what we saw as per the photoelectric effect observations we saw that the electrons are emitted instantaneously that is there is no time lag when the light of a certain frequency above the threshold and the energy that is the maximum kinetic energy depends solely on the frequency not on the intensity this was the major contradiction this led to the conclusion that the light transfers energy in discrete photons each with the energy that is given by h into nu where nu is the frequency and this was explained by einstein's quantum theory so i hope you are now clear with what the wave theory predictions were and how they were different from the photoelectric effect observations see you in the next video till then bye bye